You've been waiting a long time, huh? Well, strap in, bitch. Let's ride. What is going on, Deets and Deets of the Interweb? Thank you so much for clicking. I am AJ, and let's get right into this video. Well, 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 it's been a long ass wait, hasn't it? We're not gonna prolong this any further, bitch, so without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Y'all know this I coordinated today? Mm hmm. Red, red, red. <laughs> Track number uno State of Grace. Head pipes? I mean, granted, it's softer, but beach. So I've only listened to 1989 and I did a reaction to it, right? And none of the tracks were as vocally demanding as this first song. So I am shocked that she is able to, you know, sing like this. Girl, let's keep listening to the shit. That's true. Yes, what can I tell a bitch? Bitch. Bitch. Yeah, I know. I'm shocked. Okay, um, all right. You know what? I actually really liked the very last line of the song when she was like, love can be a ruthless game, okay? Love can be a bitch. Unless you play it good and right. Now I agree. If both parties play it good and right because you can still get fucked if the other person is all fucked up, okay? You can be good and right all you want. But if you are with somebody who is all kinds of trifling, best belief, love will be cruel, okay? Oh, bitch. Let's move on to the next track. Track number two, Red. The title of the album. Loving him is like driving a little Maserati just before the loop. Damn. Wow. Oh, nah, yo. It's crazy how different her sound is today. This bitch took a 180, okay? It's day and night. Girl, let's keep listening. Loving him is red. Like yeehaw, type of song. Okay, now. Okay, girl. Like I said, a one motherfucking eighty. Okay, bitch. Anyways, this song is basically describing the different states or stages of the relationship with. Whoever she's singing about, okay? When it was good, it was good, okay? It felt red, okay? Red, she uses the color red to describe the better states of that relationship. And then she switches the colors to blue, dark gray, dark, you know, the gloomy times of the relationship. You know, when you think of a gloomy time, you think of like those colors. It's just so goddamn gloomy and gray and blue, you know? so. Let's go. Track number three, Treacherous. Out of focus, eye to eye. To grab this love, it's treacherous. Forever going with the flow. I just think if you think if you know. I, 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 Follow you, follow you. This love, 
Wow, girl, shooketh. That's all I can say, I am shooketh, okay? This song is about knowing goddamn well that whatever she's trying to pursue may not be the right thing to do, but she is a daredevil and she wants to know, okay? How would you know if you don't try it? How, how, Sway, how, okay? That's what she's thinking. She's like, you know what? I know this person may not necessarily be good for me. You know, we are not compatible, but I just want to give it a shot. You really never know until you try. I mean, I like your way of thinking, but bitch, you know, um, follow your gut. Track number four, I knew you were trouble. Once upon a time, a few mistakes ago, This is a follow-up to Treacherous, isn't it? Ooh, she pursued the relationship and now she's like, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Oh, God damn it. I should have followed my goddamn gut, but bitch, I wanted to know. I wanted to know. Girl, now you know. Bitch, let's get listening. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Thinking about, I know that boy, y'all got the tea. Spin it, bitch. Bitch, spill the goddamn tea in the goddamn comments, okay? Track number five, all too well. Oh, we are back to country, okay? Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm gonna need for y'all to take a break for a minute, okay? Don't turn up too much now. Oh. We're singing in the car, getting lost up in state. Magic's not here no more, and it might be okay. Honeymoon phase over. I want to hear that again. You broke me like a promise. Trust me, that's motherfucker. Bitch, let's hear that again. She did. You kept my old scarf. It reminds you of me. Shit, it smells like me, motherfucker. All oh, too Taylor, motherfucking bitch. Okay, Taylor, got Zion, bitch. Listen, the song writing so far is with the exclusion of I knew you were trouble. I knew you were trouble sounds closer to 1989 than everything else that I've listened to so far. Um, it has a storyline, you know, it's not repetitive and you can definitely picture every scene that she is trying to paint for you. You get what I'm saying? You know, she starts this song off with the good times um, when you know, they walked into the person's house and, you know, they were going through albums and, you know, the mom was pretty much describing whoever she was singing about childhood. And, you know, it was a good ass time. And then she switches to, she transitions actually, she transitions into when the relationship started going downhill. You know what I mean? So 
it's a story time type of songwriting. You get what I'm saying? So I literally am imagining everything. And then towards the end of the song, she's like, guess what? You miss the best thing that ever happened to you, okay? Shit. Got me fucked up. Yes, Taylor bitch. All right? <sighs> Let's move on to the next track. Track number six, 22. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipster. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tonight's the night when we I don't know about you. I'm feeling 22. Oh no, those tres legos. I know about you. I'm feeling 22. It feels like one of those guys. You look like Bendy. Hey! I know about you. Hey! You don't know about me. Hey! That makes you want to. Oh, you don't know about that? Okay, this song is quite catchy, all right, especially when it comes to the hook of the song. Mm. I don't know about you. Ow! Track number seven, I almost do. Sometimes you wonder about me. Okay, now cocky bitch. a picture for you the song writing is it's so fluent okay like you bitch all right but listen this song is about the thoughts you have after a breakup especially if you and your partner did not necessarily leave on extreme bad terms you know if you still have feelings for this person you are going to be able to relate to this song you get what i'm saying we've all been there if you've been in a relationship you can definitely relate to this shit track number eight a song i definitely know we are never ever ever getting back together bitch Get it back together. I like her voice in that. Boy, please. I mean, this is exhausting. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. Forever, ever, ever. Get it back together. Okay. Shit. Okay. Bitch. Y'all heard her. Okay. You are never, ever, ever, ever. Getting back together again, okay? Shit, old Taylor is dead, bitch. What's up? <laughs> Track number nine, Stay, Stay, Stay. Why does this sound like something you would hear on a kid's channel? I threw my phone across the room at you. You think that it's funny when I'm mad, mad, mad. Here's my hopes and dreams, I just like hanging out with you. Stay, stay, stay. You had a fun time with this song. <laughs> this is the type of song that will stay, stay, stay. Okay, shit. This song, <laughs> y'all know this type of songs that once you hear it, it just keeps playing in your head for a long ass time, right? And you just get mad, mad, mad. Okay, like God damn it, get the out of my head. Track number ten, the last time, featuring Gary Light Buddy. Find myself at your door, just like all those times before. This is the last time I'm asking you this. But I was there to watch you leave, and all the times I let you in. This is the last time I'm asking you this. 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 So sonically, this was not my favorite song. It kind of felt like this was actually 
uh, a song by Gary featuring Taylor Swift as opposed to the other way around. Um, he was quite overpowering in this song. Um, it, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it did not feel like a Taylor Swift song. And the song is basically about being fed up with a relationship because she does not feel like she is a priority in this person's life, you know? She, it seems like she is at the bottom, you know? This person is doing every and anything but spending quality time with her, you know? Um, they're not necessarily vibing as much anymore um this person rather do other things than be with her that's why she's like this is the last time i'm gonna tell you to put my name on top of your list i want to be you know a top priority for god's sakes all right track number 11 holy ground <laughs> Yay! Wow, this song actually is one of those songs that gets better as you listen to it, so kudos, okay? And the song is about looking back on a relationship and actually appreciating the person with whom she was in a relationship with. You know, instead of like thinking about the reasons why they broke up, she is thinking about the reasons why they were together, you know? There were good and bad times and this time she is focusing on the good times of the relationship, you know? That's why she's like, hey, this time we're dancing on holy ground. When you think of holy ground, you think, oh, you know, you think of good things, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think that's what the song is about. Track number 12, Sad, Beautiful, Tragic. <laughs> I like those back and vocals there. Beach. I have my eyes shut for like 99% of the song because it's one of those songs that, wow. Like you can't, it controls you, you know? As soon as she starts, she's like, close your eyes, my child, and listen to my words. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, bitch, okay? Eyes closed, bitch. And you just immerse yourself into the melody and the lyrics of the song. You know, and her voice as well. Her voice was very mesmerizing in this song. Very soft, ah, okay, and beautiful. All right, okay, now Miss Taylor, back. Track number 13, The Lucky One. Oh, this 
song was actually quite interesting and it is not about a relationship Beach, okay i feel like this song is about somebody who was once in her position somebody who knows a thing or two about being famous you know what i mean and this person used to actually have fun with the whole hollywood scene you know but at some point this person was like this is not fun anymore and the person decided to just you know get out like taylor swift said this person got the hell out took their dignity with them and just went somewhere else in, in order to preserve some sort of sanity you know because it seems like this person was not having as much fun anymore and you know being constantly in the tabloids and being photographed by paparazzi and followed by fans and all that can get tiring so this person decided to leave that's what i at least that's what i think the song is about track number 14 everything has changed featuring my boo ed sheeran oh my gosh that guitar sounds like ed sheeran hey Back and vocals. Everything has changed. Okay, hold down. Listen, this is her second featured artist, and I have got to say that this actually worked. Y'all remember Gary, right? Shit. His voice was quite overpowering, all right? Taylor Swift has a very soft tone. Even when she tries to project it, it's still on the softer end. You get what I'm saying? So what Ed Sheeran did was soften his tone in order to work with Taylor's tone. That's why this was so beautiful sonically, okay? Their, voice, their voices worked, they harmonized really well, and I was able to hear Taylor Swift. This sounded like a Taylor Swift song featuring another artist, of course. Ed had to add his own spin with the backing vocals. Now that is an Ed Sheeran spin, okay? Oh man. Yeah, so guys, I'm good, okay? But yeah, so this one I definitely like. And the song is about meeting somebody who leaves a good first impression, okay? Track number 15, Starlight. The whole place was just to the nines and we would stay. Yo. The way the song started, I was like, Peach, Taylor Swift has a fist pumping song. I will, okay, I will, I will be ready to pump this fist. But oh, she was like, oh, calm it down, girl. Shimmer down, shimmer down, all right? This is my country album, so get with it. Bitch, my man, let's keep listening. Damn, I'm a yacht. Okay, now get some. I wonder if the song was written from the perspective of maybe her parents. No, her grandparents, because she talked about meeting somebody in the summer of 45. Bitch, that is a long ass time ago, okay? From what I know, Taylor Swift was definitely not alive or thought off in the summer of 45, okay? So maybe the song was actually written uh, for her grandparents and it seems like her grandparents had a good ass time you know whoever she wrote the song about had a blast all right because they were like just just living it up and having fun on yachts bitch yachts darling okay 
<laughs> this what, bitch? Track number 16, last track on this album, Begin Again. You didn't like it when I wore high heels, but I do. Ooh. I think it's strange that you think I'm funny, cause he never did break and burn and end. Beach! Coming off a little shy, but I do. Every single Christmas, and I won't talk about that. I watched it begin again. Bitch. 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 Okay. This one was really beautiful. <laughs> Hold on, let me live a little work to it, okay? Oh, man, yo. There was a part in the song that just, it felt like she had some strings and she was just pulling me in and just pulling me in and just pulling me in oh my god y'all know exactly what i'm talking about okay listen this song is about new beginnings all right it's about getting out of a toxic ass trifling relationship and getting into something that is just a complete 180 okay she's like oh, i'm shook if he actually pulled my chair i'm trying to him too oh my god what a gentleman and he laughs at my jokes <laughs> okay now that is an upgrade all right well we have finally come to the conclusion of this album and bitch okay you motherfuckers were right <sighs> this album is actually goddamn good lyrically all right it's more country than 1989 of course but her songwriting capabilities on this album were just really great okay and she had a lot of storylines you were able to actually follow from beginning to middle to the end you get what i'm saying so everything everything it was good it was actually really good. What were some of my favorite songs you ask? Well, I'm about to let you know, okay? How's up, girl? Okay, so we have All Too Well, 22. Mm, I don't know about you, <laughs> okay? We are never, ever, ever getting back together. Um, What else? Sad, Beautiful, Tragic, Everything Has Changed, featuring Mabu Ed Sheeran, and begin again okay every other song was pretty decent but these are the ones that i actually vibed to like that okay that was that was, that was so, so touching with these songs all right what about y'all what were some of your favorite songs where you initially heard this album and what songs grew on you as you listened to this album again let me know in the comment section below okay thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share if you have any other recommendations please leave them in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to watch or listen and react in the meantime i will talk to you later